What's up, Baller Nation? Augie Johnson here with BallerBootCamp.com. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys three different basketball drills that you guys can use to work on getting the ball out of a handoff. Okay, so the handoff is a game situation that you're going to see pretty often where if a player dribbles at you, a lot of the times they want you to come for a handoff. Okay, so I dribble at my guard here, and a lot of times it's going to be bigs, tall players, they're going to dribble out of guard and go for a handoff. Uh, this is exactly what we're talking about, the, the situation we're talking about. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so for this drill, if you don't have a partner, it's no big deal, you can use a chair. If you do have a partner, they can be your handoff guy. But you guys get the idea. So we're gonna be talking about three different situations. Okay, the first one is just gonna be a catch and shoot. Okay, so a lot of times when you come off of a handoff and you get a, get a catch off a handoff, your defender in nine times out of 10 is gonna slip under. Okay, so if I'm guarding the guy that's handing the ball off and I see the handoff's coming, a lot of times I'll jump back, let this guy through. So what that means is that if you're a great shooter, you can come off this handoff, get a catch, have space, and get into your shot. Now, I wouldn't advise you to take this shot every single time because it's a tough shot and it's one that they're gonna normally give you, but if you are a good shooter and you're open and you're feeling it and you're in rhythm, get that hand off and get into your shot. Okay, so real quick, if you don't have a partner, the way this drill works is you're gonna get your rebound, hustle out here, put the ball down, run over here, touch here, come back, come off, and get this hand off and get into your shot. Okay, so one more time, you're gonna put the ball here, you're gonna go away, touch, boom, come full speed, get the ball, and get into your shot. So let's go ahead and take a look at that drill, full speed. Okay, so the next situation is just a catch and attack. So I come off this handoff, I get this handoff, and if my defender is one step behind me, I'm just catching and attacking. Okay, I'm either gonna go strong side or weak side. You have to read the defender that's guarding me. Okay, so if I put the ball here, and I'm coming full speed, and my defender jumps this, I'm gonna grab this ball, rip through, go opposite of where the handoff is coming from, go against the grain and get to the basket, or get into my pull-up. Like I said, if he's one step behind or if he gets caught up in the screen, I'm gonna catch this and attack strong side and get to the basket, make a play for our team. So that's how this second part of the drill works. Uh, same thing, you're gonna put the basketball down, we're gonna run, we're gonna touch sideline, we're gonna hustle back, we're gonna get a catch, rip through, it's your choice. Go left one time, go right one time, go left one time, go right one time. So let's go ahead and take a look at that full speed. Okay, so the last situation off a handoff is a lot of times you want to get a re-screen. So if I come off this, get a handoff, imagine my defender slips under, I use it, boom, I go through the legs, my, my screener now can slip down because my defender went under and set an even lower screen. Now I can use it again as a pick and roll, get into my shot, now I'm a lot closer to the basket. So for point guards and stuff that aren't really deep three-point shooters, this is a good little thing for them. For example, you get a handoff out here, boom, or you use a pick and roll out here. I come off this pick and roll, I'm too deep to shoot, right? But if I use a handoff first, I come off this handoff, boom. 
change direction, my defender went under, my screener slips down, now I use the pick, boom, now I'm closer to the basket, now I'm in my shooting range, and I can pull up. It's so really hard to guard this as a uh, guard and a point guard, right? If I go under the screen, and I can change the directions, and I get hit with a pick and roll, it's really hard to guard. So, for the sake of the drill, our, our chair can't re-screen or anything like that, so we're just gonna get the ball, use it, change directions, use the pick and roll, come off, and get into our jumper. So let's go ahead and take a look at that full speed. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like that video, click that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And also, most importantly, head over to ballerbootcamp.com. Head over there. I got a free workout for you that you can download, print out, and follow to improve your shooting, improve your ball handling. So go ahead, click the link that's on the screen right now, or if you're on a mobile device, first link in the description, and I'll see you guys inside that workout.